Hello, welcome to SimScale video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be telling you how you can use SimScale to analyze different models for a same simulation setup. As an example, you can see an engine bearing bracket here whose stress analysis is performed. Now, for example, if you want to analyze this similar model which has different features on the same simulation setup, then you can do it while uploading it directly into the same environment. Let's suppose we have this bearing bracket whose mesh is already created. You can see here that there are different mesh refinements that have been defined, for example, on these fixations and over this phase and over this fillet to capture the high stress regions more accurately. And in the simulation designer, you can see that a full simulation is also performed on this model with a specific material property and different constraints and loads. There was a successful run that was already performed. In the post-processor, you can also see the results of it. Now, if you have a second model and want to analyze it with the same set of boundary conditions and loads and same material property, you don't have to do it from scratch. All you have to do is to go into geometries and upload that model into the same project. For example, in this case, we analyzed already model underscore one, and now we want to analyze model underscore two. You just click open and start upload. It will take just a minute to upload this model to the same project. You can see that this bearing bracket looks different than what we have before, but the boundary conditions and the material property, whatever need to be applied, is the same. So all now we have to do is that we go to the mesh, which we have already created, we right-click on it, and we make a duplicate of it. Once the duplicate of this mesh has been created, you can rename it whatever you want. For example, here, we can rename it to model underscore two mesh. And here in the base geometry, we will change it to the second model so that it can, now, now we can create the mesh over this, this geometry. Click save, and this will prompt that everything what you have assigned beforehand would be lost. Just accept this, and you will see the second model will load in the viewer. Now all you have to do is that if you have mesh refinements beforehand with this previous mesh, you have to assign it back for the new one. For example, in this case, we also have to select all these fixations and for example, all the high stress region faces, which might be this one, these ones, and for example this fillet face and we click add selection to from viewer to select all these faces for this specific refinement level and click save now go into operations and click start this will now start the oper new meshing operation for this new geometry and once this is completed we are good to set up the simulation The meshing operation is now completed successfully. You can see the status here. Now go to the simulation designer and make the duplicate of the already created simulation similarly as you did in the meshing. This will create a duplicate of the simulation. Now if you want to change the analysis, the, everything here will be lost. Right now, we are not interested in that, since we know that we have to analyze the, the second model with the same settings. Go into Domain, and now select the second domain which you want to now simulate. Click Save. This will warn you that you will lose every entity you have assigned to the previous mesh for the new one. Just click Yes. And this will load the second model in the viewer. Now you can see here that everything which has been assigned before has now been unassigned since now the mesh has been changed. All you have to do is to reassign all the things back. So if you go to the materials 
you can select this volume and click Save. This will make it green, which means that now this has been assigned. Now if you go to the constraint, you can also do the same thing, reassigning everything back. So you, you go for surfaces, for example, so that you can analyze the model more clearly and easily. You can go to the big face mode and you can select all the faces which you have selected in the last geometry, in the last mesh also, and click Add Selection from Viewer and click Save. Similarly, we can do the same thing for other assignments. And also the load. Once this is done, you don't have to change anything since you want to analyze this model similarly as you have done for the previous one. You go to the simulation run, now create a new run, and rename it to whatever you want. Create the new run and click start to submit the job. Once this, this simulation job is finished, we can then go to analyze the results and we can compare them side by side. Once your second simulation run is finished for the second model, we can directly go to the post processor to post process the results and compare them side by side. Go to the post processor. Here you can see we have already loaded the results for the first, for first model. Here you can see that this solution field has been selected and it has been loaded already. Now you ha we have to upload or we have to load the second model here in this case. Go to the second model, right click on the solution field and click add result to the viewer. This will add results for the second model in to the same viewer. Now you can see that the Model 2 results have been loaded here. Now, since they are overlapping right now, all we have to do is to transform this to a specific distance along specific axis so that we can see it side by side. Let's try point 1. Now you can see that Two models are now side by side. Now go ahead and turn off the run SAHL model-2 in this case so that we can see clearly two models separately here. Now if you want to create a verb vector filter to analyze that how it has been deformed you can do so. Go to add filter and click verb vector. This will warp it. So you can, of course, increase the scale factor to see the deformed state and turn off the original one. Do the same for the first model. And turn off the previous one. And now you can see and analyze different results. If you want to see now the stresses or stress plot for values compared to a separate, a specific model, you can do so. For example, if you click for this case, which is related to the model one, and if you turn on the stress plot, these values here are according to this model, and it has been automatically analyzed for the second one also. But if you go to the second one, and use rescale this, you can see that there is a difference in the values because this model has a specific range of stresses which is different than the previous model. And now you can analyze the two models where there are high stress regions for example and how they look like. This is how you can analyze different models on same scale with the same project. Thank you for watching this video.